silly, and today I'm going to be doing my next Ben's Wild e episode adventure about the horse. Now, as you can see, there's two horses behind me. There's one right there, another way back there. And one reason why I'm doing the horse is because I used to take horseback riding lessons when I was a kid, and my aunt is a vet and an expert on horses. There's different types of horses, and the largest and heaviest horse ever was a Shire horse named Samson. He was then eventually renamed Mammoth. He died back in 1846, and he weighed two tons. And the tallest horse ever is a Clydesdale horse named Poe. From hoof to head, he's 10 feet tall, and horses are measured in hands, and one hand equals four inches, so 10 feet tall would be 30 hands tall. <laughs> Now I'm inside the barn and some other world record horses that I want to talk about. The smallest horse ever is a dwarf miniature horse named Einstein. He's full grown, but he only weighs six pounds. That's only the size of a newborn baby human. And the fastest horses ever are quarter horses. They're called quarter horses because they can sprint for a quarter of a mile and the fastest one ever ran 60 miles an hour. That means it could run a quarter of a mile in just 15 seconds. And the oldest horse ever lived to be 62 years old and the strongest horses ever can haul up to five times their body weight, which means a two-ton horse like Samson can haul 10 tons. Standing in front of another horse now, and what's interesting is horses have actually been around for 60 million years. They first appeared 60 million years ago, and that's just 5 million years after the last dinosaurs went extinct. And the very first horse ever was just a foot tall, only house cat size. So you, so you can now see how much bigger they've gotten over 60 million years from the very first horse ever, which was just a foot tall to giant modern-day horses like Mo, who's 10 feet tall. They got 10 times taller as they evolved. That's pretty amazing, actually. Relatives of the horse are ponies, donkeys, zebras, and believe it or not, rhinos and tapirs, too. Rhinos and tapirs, they, their feet are very similar to the ancestors of horses. The early horses had hoof-like toes, and so do rhinos and tapirs. And zebras, are smaller than horses and as we all know they live in the wild and today there are three different types of zebras the plain zebra the grevis and the mountain and the grevis is the biggest of the three species it's recognizable because of its long thin stripes and its big ears a full-grown adult male grevis can stand six feet tall and can weigh half a ton this horse right here is named snowy as you can see he's sniffing me right now and He's a male horse because if you look in his mouth, he's got canine teeth. Only male horses have canines, and the females don't. But of course, you've got to be careful. Horse teeth can cause flesh ripping wounds. Although horses are herbivores, they can still deliver a nasty bite, which is why you have to feed them like this. There's actually five different types of hybrid equines. Like the most famous, of course, is the mule. To create a mule, you gotta breed a male donkey with a female horse. But if you do the opposite, breed a male horse with a female donkey, you get a hinny. And if you breed a male zebra with a female horse, you get a zorse. Male zebra with a female pony, a zoni. And a male zebra with a female donkey, a zonkey. And what's cool about mules and hinnies is that they have 63 chromosomes, that is less than a horse with 64 and more than a donkey with 62. And they both have the speed and stamina of horses and the intelligence of donkeys. Of donkeys. Of donkeys. Of donkeys. Most sources have chestnut fur, but there's one source named Eclisa. She's got a white body, but her head and rump on her um, left side, I think, look just like that of a zebra. And the reason why 
is because Ecclesia's patchwork may be a clue. The color of the Zorus may be dictated by the color of the horse. And in this case, Ecclesia was crossed with a zebra and a horse that has spots like this horse behind me. And today, Ecclesia lives with a pony named Pedro. Did you know that horses have the biggest eyes of any land mammal? A horse eye is even bigger than an elephant eye, and their eyes are twice as big as our eyes, and their manes look a lot different from a zebra's mane. Because you know how most horses' manes flop down over to one side? Well, a zebra mane stands straight up in the air, and I mentioned earlier that Zebras are smaller than horses, and they're also slower than horses, too. Zebras only run 50 miles an hour, so the movie Racing Stripes kind of got it wrong. It's interesting, I said horses run 60 miles an hour. A horse's stride is 30 feet long. That's the same length as the stride of a giraffe or the stride of a cheetah, even though their legs are all different lengths, and even though they all run different speeds. Like, for example, a giraffe's legs are six feet long. That's four times longer than the legs of a cheetah. And giraffes run 40 miles an hour, horses run 60, and cheetahs run 80. But all of their strides are all 30 feet long. All right, I'm back where I, where I started with this horse again. And I said horses haul five times their body weight, which means, like I said, a two-ton horse hauls 10 tons. Compare that to an elephant, which only hauls twice its body weight. That means a 14-ton elephant can haul 28 tons. So when it comes to hauling things, an elephant is almost three times stronger than a horse. So basically, you could say that an elephant has almost three horsepower, because that's how horsepower works. But pound for pound, a horse is stronger than an elephant, because remember, Horses haul five times their body weight, and elephants, they only haul twice their body weight. Now I'm on Emery Farm, and I'm in front of two donkeys right now named Maggie and Claire. Now, like I said earlier, donkeys are relatives of the horse, and as you can see, they're small and they've got bigger ears. And like I said back at the horse farm, they're smarter than horses, and... They're also slower than horses. One reason why is because, unlike horses who tend to run away from their predators, donkeys will stand and fight. They can also be pretty stubborn, too. They'll sometimes disobey their owners. And the largest and heaviest donkey ever weighed one ton. And the mule, the hybrid of a donkey and horse, just want to let you know, the very first cloned equine ever was a mule named Idaho Jem. Last time I saw him on TV, he was three years old. I don't know how old he is right now, and I don't even know if he's still alive, but I do know that he lived with another cloned mule named Idaho Star, and both Idaho Jem and Idaho Star are racing mules. And of course, the very first cloned animal ever was Dolly the Sheep, and I think Idaho Star might have been the second cloned equine ever. Thanks again for watching. See you all next time on Ben's Wild Adventure.